In this episode of The Daily Meditation, we'll look at the Law of Attraction. What it is, why it usually does not work, usually, potential side effects, and how to actually make the Law of Attraction work based on scientific principles. So what is the Law of Attraction? The Law of, of Attraction is a new thought theory that states that you can manifest anything you want into being by thinking about it in specific ways. Usually the Law of Attraction involves visualizing that you have whatever it is that you desire. For instance, a million dollars. You simply visualize holding a million dollars. And hey presto, you've got a million dollars. That's the theory. However, it's largely a myth. There is a way to make the Law of Attraction work, as I will tell you later on. But let's investigate why it's actually a myth. So, interestingly, the Law of Attraction begins in the 1800s with a guy called Phineas Quimby. Now, Phineas Quimby is the father of the New Thought movement. Phineas Quimby suffered from tuberculosis at a time when there was no cure for, for tuberculosis. But he noticed that when he was riding his horse, his pain would be significantly reduced. This led him to theorize that states of mind can have an effect in the real world. And indeed, that is true to a degree, because states of mind can certainly affect your body. And you can heal certain ailments by thinking in certain ways and by using techniques like meditation. Now, unfortunately, into the 1900s and the 2000s, this law of attraction idea really went a little bit bonkers. So what happened was, various self-help writers, for instance, Ron de Byrne of The Secret and Norman Vincent Pearl, they told people that you could literally have anything just by thinking about it. And they did this in order to sell a lot of books, which they certainly did. If you look at Think and Grow Rich and The Secret, no doubt they sold a ton of copies. But they did so by <clears throat> essentially marketing off of this myth slash lie that you can think of something and manif manifest it just by imagining that you have it. Now, unfortunately, not only does the law of attraction not work, but it is harmful. So why does the Law of Attraction not work? Remembering that a little later on I'm going to show you how to make it work. So the reason the Law of Attraction doesn't work, I think a five-year-old can probably figure it out, is because your mind does not have the power to simply manifest things into being. You can't think, I have a million dollars, and then hey presto, you have a million dollars. Or everyone would have a million dollars, which clearly myself included, we do not. However, you don't actually need the Law of Attraction. And I'm going to tell you why in just a moment. But before then, a little bit of a warning. If you use the Law of Attraction and you tell yourself, I have this, I have this, you are actually going to completely demotivate yourself from getting the very thing that you want. And the reason why all comes down to the psychology of the mind. Now, unfortunately, the mind has a really hard time distinguishing that which is imagined from that which is real. So when you say to yourself, I have a million bucks, I have a million bucks, your mind says, wow, I've got a million bucks. Now I don't really need to worry about my finances because I already have a million bucks. Same thing with love. If you say to yourself, I have my soulmate. Your mind's going to say, wow, I have my soulmate. I don't have to worry about finding love because I've already got my soulmate. So not only does the law of attraction not work, it actually stops you from getting the very thing that you want to get. Thankfully, however, you do not need the law of attraction. Why? Because everything that you could possibly ever want already exists in reality. Think about it. The problem isn't that the thing isn't there. You don't need to manifest anything because it already exists. Money. Does anybody really think that there's a lack of money in this world? What about love? 
Does anybody think that there's a lack of love in this world? Just look at the amount of people who have happened to go from rags to riches just because they got one good idea, or the amount of people who one day happen to find the person that they spend the rest of their lives with. No, the problem is not that you need to manifest anything because the universe already provides everything you could possibly ever want. The problem is that you can't perceive the thing that you want. So that's interesting, right? Because if the thing that you want already exists, why can't you see it? Now, the reason why you can't perceive the things that you want has a lot to do with the way in which the mind processes reality. So the mind processes reality based on memory, beliefs, knowledge, and thoughts. So what does that mean? Well, consider this. Let's say that you want true love. But unfortunately, a few years back, you went through an incredibly painful breakup. And since then, you've been saying to yourself, love doesn't exist. It's just a lie that's going to lead to more pain, like the pain of my breakup. You say that to yourself over and over and over and over again, right? And eventually, after you say that to yourself so many times, it becomes a belief. Now remember, the mind processes reality via beliefs. Anything that contradicts our beliefs, the mind filters out. So if you believe that true love does not exist for you, then you will not be able to perceive love, even if it's right in front of you. Same thing with money. If you think, I'm poor, I'm always going to be broke for the rest of my life, there's no way that I can make a lot of money, then even if there are opportunities to make money directly in front of your face, your mind will say, that's not real. That's not really an opportunity to make money because I believe that there are no opportunities for me to make money. And here we get to the first step of making the law of attraction work. The first step of making the law of attraction work is that you must Learn to believe that the thing that you want already exists for you. And in order to do that, you're going to need to change your beliefs, which I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. The second thing that you need to do, not only do you need to perceive the thing that you want, but you have to act in a way that is going to make you get the thing that you want. <clears throat> and again, that could be a problem based on your past experiences. So for instance, let's say that you want to find a good relationship, right? But you've had an experience before where you asked somebody out and you were painfully rejected. And you've always remembered that. Every time you think about asking somebody else, somebody out, you remember the fact that when you did that previously, it led to a lot of pain. Now, what that does in your mind is associate the act of acting, asking somebody out with pain. So your brain then thinks, if I do this, if I do the thing that I need to do to get what I want, which is asking somebody out, it is just going to cause me tremendous pain. Hence why you're not going to do it. And that's the second thing we're going to change in the Law of Attraction meditation that I'm going to share with you in just a moment. So, before we get to that, I just want to do a recap because we've covered a lot in this. Number one, the law of attraction is a theory that states that you can get anything you want just by thinking about it. Unfortunately, it's just a marketing ploy that people use to sell a lot of books. Not only is it a marketing ploy, but if you use the law of attraction, it's going to prevent you from getting the thing that you want because when you imagine you have something, your mind, struggling to distinguish imagination from reality, says, I've already got this, I don't need to work on getting it. However, you don't need to use the law of attraction because anything you could possibly ever want already exists in the universe. What you do have to do is change your beliefs so that you can perceive the thing that you want. And then once you change your beliefs, you then need to change your actions so that you act in a way that makes you get the thing that you want. So how do you do all of that? 
Well, simple, you just follow along with the following meditation. Now I'm gonna go through this in easy steps. I'm gonna take just a couple of minutes to do it. When you do it for real, I recommend that you take a minimum of 20 minutes to do it. Now you can follow along with the video and just pause it if you want to, or just listen to the instructions and then do it afterwards, okay? So, to begin with, we're just gonna close our eyes and focus on breathing as we usually do when we meditate. That's gonna still the mind and produce inner quiet. And it's also gonna enhance our insight so that we can see what's going on in the mind. Now I'm going to open my eyes, but if you're doing this, keep your eyes closed. So I recommend that you continue mindful breathing for a minimum of one quarter mala, which is 27 breaths, or for most people, approximately five minutes. By now, you will be feeling very relaxed and still, and you'll be at a good point in your mind to start to change your beliefs. So the next thing we need to do is train the mind to perceive the fact that the thing that we want already exists and is waiting for us. So how do you do that? All you need to do is bring to mind the times previously when you have had the opportunity to get the thing that you want. Now, this is really, really important. You're gonna visualize all the times when you had the opportunity to get what you want. You are not going to think about what you did or how you acted. For instance, let's say you're looking for love. Remember the times when you had an opportunity to go out with somebody. Don't remember the fact that, oh, you said the wrong thing or things went wrong. Don't remember that. We're not working on your, um, on your actions right now. We're working on showing your mind that the thing that you want exists. So just remember all the times when the thing that you wanted existed in front of you. Continue visualizing all those times for a minimum of five minutes. So this is training your mind to see that the thing that you want does actually exist. The next thing you need to do is train your mind to act in the way that you need to act to get the thing that you want. So for instance, I'll go back to the example of, of dating or finding love. Perhaps it would be really beneficial if you were confident and outgoing. Now, <clears throat> your mind might have a problem with this because there might be times in the past when you were confident and outgoing and it didn't result in the way that you wanted it to. And indeed, that's why you've stopped being confident and outgoing because the mind now associates that act of being confident and outgoing with punishment. So what you need to do is go through your memories and remember the times when you were confident and outgoing and you got a reward for it. Even if it's not the same reward that you're looking for right now, that doesn't matter because all you're doing is training your mind to think that acting in this way leads to a reward. It's only the sense of reward that matters. It doesn't have to be the reward that you're looking for right now. So go through the times in your memory when you acted the way you wish you could act right now and either remember the re reward you got for it or imagine that you got a reward for it. Continue to do that for a minimum of five minutes. And then after you finish that, just continue mindful breathing and just gradually come back to the present moment. Okay, <clears throat> so final recap for this Law of Attraction video. Firstly, the Law of Attraction, the idea that you can just manifest things by thinking about them does not work. There's no scientific research at all that shows that it works. However, you do not need to use the law of attraction because anything you could possibly want already exists. What you do need to do is train your mind to see that the thing that you want exists. And you do that by recalling from 
your memory all the times when you had the opportunity to get the thing that you now want. That's training your mind to think, ah, this is already out there. I can go get this. Finally, you're training yourself to act in such a way that will get you what you want. And you're doing that by recalling or imagining times when you acted the way you would like to act now and re were rewarded for it. And that's that. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, stay sensational.